Wilson on education. My name is Laura Hoover and I am the Director of Communication for Culpeper County Public Schools. Today, I'm excited to welcome our new Director of Transportation Operations, Stephen Bagley, Jr. Welcome, Stephen. Well, thank you for having me. I'm excited to have you here today, um, get you to talk a little bit about yourself and about your role, new role with Culpeper County Public Schools. Well, I'm retired United States Navy, um, and then I went back to school, finished up my education, and then decided to become a bus driver at Loudoun County Public Schools, and then I went from there, I moved up in, and continued on into dispatch, and then I went to the admin building, worked in SPED, and I left there and I went to Falls Church County, Falls Church City Public Schools. That okay. Is. Yeah, as the transportation coordinator, and then I came here. Okay, so why Culpeper? How did you find us, or why did you choose us? Well, Culpeper reminds me of where I grew up in Southern Virginia in Lunenburg County. So we are a very rural county. Um, this puts me in the same mindset of there, um, you know, being here in Northern Virginia dealing with traffic. This is a little bit more slower pace, mm -hmm. and it gets me back closer to, to home, so. Awesome. Well, we are so glad that you, you chose us. Um, so looking ahead at the 2022-23 school year, what can our families expect with regards to bus transportation? Well, we're going to do everything we can to transport our students to and from school safely. Um, we do have some new things coming on board this year, um, i.e. we have some electric buses that are coming on board approximately October time frame, mm -hmm. um, but we're still working those issues out. Um, and we have Stop Finders coming on, which is an app that we'll talk about a little bit later um, about how the parents can find out where the bus is. Um, so we have some new initiatives that are coming on. Um, our county is growing, so we're going to be stretched a little bit this year, um, making sure that we get everybody transported to and from school safely. Excellent. So how do families request transportation? Well, they first will start off with making sure that their demographic information is up to date at their school through Parent View. Um, once they do that, making sure that that information is correct, it's transmitted to my office, and then we go through the process of matching it up, making sure that it is correct, um, that we can find the stop, find the home, and we try to match up in the city area. Uh, we try to match up to a community stop, and then out in the rural area, we're doing stop by house by house stops. Okay, so yes. great. So parents should do the returning student registration. That is correct. Okay, yeah, they should have just received an email about yes. that. And if they need to know more about how to find that, you can do that on our website, um, culpeperschools.org. That is correct. <laughs> All right, well, great. Well, that sounds good. Um, so this past spring, we did a pilot for something called Stop Finder at A.G. Richardson. Can you tell us about that? Yes, uh, Stop Finder is an all-in-one parent engagement app. Your parents, as a parent, you will be able to know where your bus, the bus is that your student is supposed to be on. Um, once you download the application, um, you will be able to go to our website to pick up more information about that. We also, as your office, will be putting out some more information about that. And the parents will be able to go in and set a boundary. For instance, if it's one mile, two miles, five minutes, ten minutes from their house, and the app will notify them when the bus is coming and so that they can make sure that the student is out there um, to catch the bus oh, on appropriate time, great. which will be critical as you as, as I know, we talked about this electric school buses coming. The buses do not sound like the regular uh, diesel buses. So there's gonna be two of them. So they'll be running around the city. They are quiet. So you mm -hmm. won't be able to hear them coming until we put our la lights on. So it's critical that our students are at their stop five minutes prior to their stop time and that they're looking for the bus. Okay, now for the A.G. Richardson families, will they continue to have access to Stop Finder at the beginning of the year? Um, the plan is that all the other elementary schools will come online in mid-September. Okay. And then shortly thereafter, then our secondary schools, which are middle schools and high school, will come on board as well. Okay, that sounds like a great plan. Now you've mentioned the electric buses. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about adding electric buses to our fleet this well, year. I am excited <laughs> to actually engage the electric buses. Several of my friends have already engaged the electric mm -hmm. buses and now getting good reviews about how they're handling on the buses, handling and um, picking up students, their reactiveness. And so I'm excited to, to actually get the buses in, put them through their paces. Uh, initially, we're gonna start them off with 
the local town runs, but we're also going to try to see if we can stretch them. Um, according to the documentation that I've read, our buses will get anywhere between 135 and 200 miles per charge. Um, we would not push it to the limit, but we're <laughs> going to push it as close as we can to the limit to see how far we can go um, and to see if they will really work for us in the future. We're looking forward to more buses coming at some point. So um, we're going to stretch them to the limit to see how they can, you know, they can help us out as we go green. Awesome. Well, that sounds great. I know there's a new clean school bus program. Will CCPS try to take advantage of, of yes, that? Yes, ma'am. We are in currently looking at that program that's cut, that just came on board that the vice president has uh, announced. Um, and so we're looking into that. More buses, more electric buses, trying to get more buses in. Awesome. Um, as you know, our county is expanding. Uh, we have a, quite a few large subdivisions that are coming online very soon. So we're going to have to have more buses, more people, more uh, drivers. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in driving, mm -hmm. please come to our website and look for it. You know, we have positions out for drivers, van drivers, attendants, mechanics, mechanic apprentice. So we're looking awesome. for all positions. That was something I was going to ask you. If someone <laughs> wants to be a bus driver, what should they do? Well, so they can go to the Culpeper County Public Schools HR department, look mm -hmm. on there as well. We also have them advertised with Indeed.com. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to give a call to my office at 540-825-5446. Awesome. Yes, I'm there still learning is. numbers. <laughs> So if you're interested in driving a bus or working in our bus uh, garage, we need you. So yes. uh, definitely give us a call or check out our website. So is there anything else you'd like to share as we head into this exciting new school year? Well, I look forward to navigating this department this upcoming school year. Um, as we know, we're already still wor already working on the upcoming school year. We're scheduling um, students, um, routing students right now. Uh, we anticipate our um, routes will be posted on 1 August okay. of this year, so parents will be able to go to the transportation website um, and look for their bus stop. All right, sounds yes, great. Well, thank you so much for well, joining for me, me today. It's been awesome talking with you, and we'll be back with more Accent on Education in just a few moments. The form to complete the registration updates for the coming 22-23 school year is now available for students who were enrolled in CCPS during last school year. If your child was enrolled in Culpeper County Public Schools last school year, you should have received an email with a link to complete registration updates for the coming year. This is required in order for students to start school on August 10th. If you did not receive an email from Culpeper County Public Schools, you can also find a link to the parent portal on the CCPS website. It is extremely important that parents and guardians log into parent portal accounts and complete the returning student registration for each child that they have enrolled in school. This is an opportunity to review and update your address, phone numbers, email, health information, emergency contacts, and transportation plans for the new school year. If you have any issues logging into your Parent Portal account, or if you want to complete the paper registration forms, please contact your child's school. 2022-2023 bus routes will be released on August 1st on the transportation website at culpeperschools.org. Culpeper County Public Schools is currently recruiting and hiring bus drivers and substitute bus drivers. The starting rate for a full-time bus driver is $20 an hour and substitutes start over $17 an hour. We need you to apply online today at www.culpeperschools.org. And if you have any questions, you can give us a call at the number on your screen. Welcome back to Accent on Education. Culpeper County Public Schools is pleased to welcome new administrators to our schools for the upcoming school year. Let's take a moment to get to know them a little bit better. Tell me your name and what is your role in Culpeper County Public Schools? My name is Gary Lowe. I'm the Dean of Students at Sycamore Park Elementary School. My name is Macy Lane and I'm the Assistant Principal at Emerald Hill. I'm Allie Hokinson. I'm the new assistant principal at Pearl Sample Elementary School. 
Hi, I'm Rose Constantini. I'm the new assistant principal at Farmington Elementary. Hello, I am Pam Gatewood and I'm the assistant principal at Floyd T. Benz Middle School. I'm Corey Stiver, assistant principal at Floyd T. Benz Middle School. Hi, I'm Adam Pulowski. I'm the assistant principal over Culpeper Middle School. Uh, my name is Carrie Shackleton and I am the assistant principal at Culpeper Middle School. Uh, my name is Andrew Krismer. I am the new assistant principal here at Culpeper County High School. Tell me what you like to do for fun in or around Culpeper. I like to visit the country shop with my family and go kayaking. My favorite part of Culpeper is going downtown to Davis Street and browsing through the wonderful stores and also all of the parks that my family can enjoy. I really love going out to the Shenandoah Valley to go hiking with my three kids and husband. Something I enjoy doing around Culpeper is going to the new restaurant downtown Gray's to Griddle. In Culpeper, I enjoy shopping downtown and checking out the local eateries and businesses. The kids and I enjoy going to the different parks. Culpeper has a lot of great outdoor spaces for the whole family to enjoy. I enjoy um, spending some time with my family. I really also greatly enjoy athletics. So um, my wife and I, we try to go to the um, Fredericksburg Nationals games. We like to go down to UVA and see UVA play. We've gone to BCU. We've seen the the uh, squirrels. So that's one of the big things we like to travel around the area um, and see a lot of the baseball teams. I was a college coach before, so I'm really passionate about it. For fun, I like to take my two dogs to the dog park, go hiking, and walk around downtown to visit the various restaurants. What I like to do for fun here in Culpeper is I like to go specifically to Mountain um, Mountain Run Lake um, to see the lake out there. And I really just like to drive around Culpeper. It's such a pretty town. Um, it's the small town, small town that I always wanted to be in. And here I am, happy, happy, happy. Um, since I've lived in Culpeper all my life, I just enjoy being, a, being here in Culpeper, hanging out with my family, and enjoying going to all the different new restaurants that now Culpeper has to offer and seeing all the different new buildings and um, things that now have come to Culpeper. It was so nice to meet all of the new administrators for Culpeper County Public Schools and we can't wait to see all of the great things that they do this school year. Thank you for joining me on Accent on Education. We look forward to seeing you next time.